and get your kiss on. It's Friday about 6 p.m. I finished school. I just took a nap. And you know how when you wake up, you can't really like move or like do anything. You just have an all around uh, kind of mood. That's what I'm feeling right now. But what's up, my quesadillas? We back at it with another vlog. My vocal range is so immense. It could go from like, uh -huh. I should really be a singer. It's Friday right now, 6 p.m. I finished school and just took a nap. I know some of my curious, curious. I know some of my curious. I know some of my cereal. I know some of my curious subscribers are gonna be asking me, how was your day today, Kate? Which if you were gonna ask that, thank you, I appreciate it. School was fun today. Um, I did nothing. That's why it was fun, I guess. All right, so as most of you guys know, if you follow me on social media, I'm going to Chicago tomorrow. And I've never been to Chicago. I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted to see the huge bean thing there. Like, obviously, I've never been to Chicago, so I've never been at the bean, you know? I was trying to do a meetup, but, like, I'm going there for some dance stuff, business stuff, YouTube stuff, all in one. I'm a professional boy now. <clears throat> I'm a professional boy now. And I don't even have time to do a meetup, so I'm sorry. I really wanted to do one, but I, I literally can't. I have no time. I'm only spending the weekend there, and then I'm coming back. But honestly, though, I don't know if a meetup in Chicago would be good. Because I've heard Chicago people are crazy. And my fans are kind of crazy. So, like, crazy K fans, crazy Chicago people all in one. Like, I ain't ready for that. But still, if I could sneak a meetup in there, I will. I know some of you guys wanted to hang. So, if I do have time, I'll hit you up. We can hang. We can do whatever. All right, thanks, guys. So... Let's read some comments. A lot of you guys like me reading comments in the homecoming vlog, so I thought I should bring it back. Maybe it could have its own section in the vlog. All right, so three hours ago, I uploaded a dance video. We'll read some comments to that. I was kind of scared to upload this video because the dance is a little bit different from my normal style. And honestly, I can't tell if my own work is good or bad. Like any video or dance I do, like I have to have other people tell me if it's good. But yeah, I just uploaded this mainly for my judgment. So I was kind of nervous to see what the feedback was. But so far, everyone's really liked it. So thank you guys so much. I'm all about trying to entertain the quesadillas. All right, so someone said Stan Talent. Stan K. Who Stan? Dude, you're actually so creative. I'm fing shaking all the way from the UK. Your flow is actually amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate like the extra nicey comments. Here's a little lesson on human interaction. If you make the compliment like something that they obviously worked on, then the person you're complimenting will feel good about it and like know that his hard work or her hard work paid off. But at the end, he says, your flow is actually amazing. He says your flow, which is like obviously something that a dancer works on. So as a dancer being complimented that, I feel like, dang. My flow is saucy! You know what I mean? I thought this be some weird joke, but hey, you talented. As a certified lady, I can say this would work. Love your dancing, bruh. I'm a dancer myself, and my deepest wish is to get a boyfriend who can dance as well. I guess dancer boys are pretty attractive, but most of them are gay. I'm just kidding. I can see why dancer girls are pretty attractive, but I don't know about boys. So let me tell you something. Dancer females? They got the booty. Like, I'm a dancing boy and I don't got booty. Where's mine? All right, I just woke up. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. About to head to the Denver airport. All right, guys, I'm pretty hot right now. I'm in the Denver airport. I'm about to head to Chicago. It should be lit. All right, guys, this is the Denver airport. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. There's a lot of crazy conspiracy theories about it. Apparently, if you see the Denver airport from above, it's like the Nazi sign, like a little star looking thing. Apparently, Illuminati is here too. I don't know. Crazy? What yeah, happens here? I've literally come here like a thousand times though, and nothing's bad happened, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think anything bad going on. I don't know what's happening. That's a cute little baby right there. All right, guys, I'm about to board the plane. Next time I see you guys, I'm gonna be in Chicago. Hold up. All right, so I'm on the plane now. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. <laughs> Chicago seems to have some high quality fashion. That's what I've been seeing. Now, if you know anything about me, my quesadillas, you know I got my priorities straight. We need to find some pizza. I heard Chicago pizza is real good. I heard it's what local Chicagoans like to call a Chicago classic. That's like the fifth Dunkin' Donuts I've seen in the 30 minutes of being here. Chicago classic. I get off the train station and see another Dunkin' Donuts. Chicago classic. All right, so now we're on our way to find some deep dish Chicago pizza. I don't know if we're gonna find pizza, but we'll see. I don't see any restaurants around. We gotta like find somewhere to go. All right, so I'm looking for some pizza places on maps right now. They all seem pretty good, but ooh, there's a Papa John's pizza right there. This is Chicago classic. All right, so we're on our way to Papa John's, just cruising the streets of Chicago. It's a beautiful city. It's pretty rainy today, but it's not rainy anymore. So the Papa John's is too far, so I'm trying to go to this other pizza place, but it led me into this alleyway. There's no pizza place here in this alleyway. What? what? Where are we going? What? I just want some pizza. I thought pizza was a 
Chicago classic and I can't find any. What happened? The weather's bad, it's noisy, I can't find pizza. Okay, but that's like super cool, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so we couldn't find pizza, so we got some Subway, another Chicago classic. You can't find that anywhere else, but it's cool. We'll get some Chicago pizza tomorrow. Well, maybe tonight. So you're probably wondering, what am I even doing here? Well, quite frankly, it's top secret information. I can't tell you guys. I'm just dealing with some business thing, no big deal. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I'm a professional boy now. All right, I just met this big, scary black dude in the elevator with like a really deep voice, like an Optimus Prime voice. It was scary, but he was like the nicest guy and we had a real good talk. Never judge a book by its cover. I don't even know where I am right now. Just kidding, kids, don't smoke, it's bad for you. I'm trying to find my room, but like, I don't know what floor my room is in. I found this secret room, look at this. Yo, it's got wine, food, look at this. Oh, I think some people were having like a romantic date here. I'm going into a staff only area. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just want to be bad right now. Here. Oh, that's me. All right, so as you guys know, I've always wanted to see the bean, and my dream finally came true. It's honestly smaller than I thought, and I didn't know there was two of them, but I mean, it's cool, I guess. All right, guys, in all honesty, I'm actually here to perform a dance at this hotel I'm staying at, the Hyatt. I'm on the 11th floor right now. This hotel's huge. It's super nice. It's got, like, a pool. Okay, most hotels have pools, but it's a nice pool. Anyway, anyway, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning now. I've been practicing all day for the performance I'm going to do tomorrow, which is technically today since it's 2. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's real fun. Going to head to bed soon. I bring my sister with me, and I was about to sleep, but my sister literally, like, took the whole bed. Yeah, I bring my sister with me because I wanted to show her what the dance lifestyle is like. She's, like, 13, I think. But I don't know. She kind of, like, looks up to me, I guess, since I'm, like, a YouTuber, and I dance and stuff. And lately, she's been wanting to dance, too, so I've been kind of, like, teaching her. Like, she's, like, my apprentice. It's pretty cool so i decided to bring her here but then she pays me back by taking my bed that's not cool she looks up to me so i'm okay with dealing with her in her training years i gotta be a good role model honestly i used to be really mean to my sister our relationship was pretty bad mostly because of me so i'm happy she thinks i'm like a cool big brother with my dance and youtube success i guess that kind of became like a sad ramp but i mean it's the truth my subscribers my quesadillas you guys are like my inner circle of friends gotta be real with you guys sometimes there's another dunkin donuts right there i think i'm pointing at it i don't know though it's blurry right here there we go that's dunkin another one all right we're about to fly i'm trying to download terraria right now before we leave but i don't know if it's gonna finish downloading before we'll be able to fly we rolling i don't know i'm just trying to download this game so i'm not bored for two hours yo it's almost done we're about to leave though i don't know if it's gonna make it i think it might finish oh my god we're about to start going fast come on this game is taking so long wait hello <laughs> yeah! i literally didn't film anything all day today I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, we ended up getting pizza. It wasn't deep dish pizza, so it wasn't a Chicago classic, but it's all right. We still got pizza and it was pretty good. I'm tired and I'm ending this vlog, so. Oh, hey. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shall we?